do you know? What do you know? I know that uh, we need to do a weekly update. Get caught up. Um, so the last place I was at, um, I was in Parksburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, I had several loads booked to get me home. Uh, so that way I could be home in time for uh, Thanksgiving. And once I delivered that load in Parksburg, Pennsylvania, um, things kind of went downhill a little ways. Now I did recover, um, but I, I had a load from Pennsylvania to West Virginia and then West Virginia uh, to Dallas booked. Um, and then I had a load from Dallas to Oklahoma City. Um, or not necessarily Dallas, but it was like North Lake, which is Dallas area to Oklahoma City. So, things didn't quite go as planned, um, but we did end up still with a decent couple of days. Um, not as great as I was hoping for. Uh, like I said, the week I had booked was pretty good. Um, but, you know, sometimes you got to deal with what you got and uh, just try to do what you can. So, um, like I said, I had a load from Pennsylvania to West Virginia. Um, that load canceled on me. I spent about half the day looking for another load. Um, trying to connect it to the, you know, trying to connect to the next load because the next load was about 300 miles. Um, and from where I was currently sitting at, um, it was going to be Pennsylvania Tollway the whole way. Um, after not being able to find anything, um, I decided, well, instead of just scrapping everything, I would just go ahead and bounce to West Virginia um, to grab the load that was going to Dallas. Um, so I called the agent on that load. They said it was still a good load. Um, I got on the interstate, ran about 20 miles, and then they called me back and they said, unfortunately, that load just canceled. So now, the only thing I had left was my North Lake to Oklahoma City. So from Texas to Oklahoma City was the only thing I had left. Um, so I went back to the drawing boards and um, was able to piece a couple loads together. And um, without sitting here and rambling, let's just get to it. I'll show you all I, what I ended up doing. So, like I said, last place I was at was in Parksburg. Let me find my... There we go. Parksburg, Pennsylvania. Um, I lost an entire day um, when those two loads, because I spent half a day, or I spent half a day looking, trying to connect the Pennsylvania to West Virginia. Um, and when that didn't, you know, you know, then the West Virginia to Ta Dallas ended up canceling. So I spent the rest of that day um, trying to find something and the only thing that I could find uh, that I that I was interested in hauling was uh, I bounced down to Albertus, Pennsylvania or over to Albertus, not down but uh, Albertus, Pennsylvania which I picked up the next day um, I delivered in Parksburg on Wednesday um, the way that load uh, fell it actually ended up uh on the previous week so it didn't end up on this week um landstar's kind of weird like uh their cutoff like my cutoff is like noon on tuesday i think but if i deliver something wednesday morning um and i pull the uh, trip advance prior to tuesday um a lot of times that load will end up on the previous week so anyway uh, delivered that load wednesday morning uh, didn't pick this load up till Thursday. So Thursday morning, Albertus, Pennsylvania. Uh, load was going to uh, Lebanon, Tennessee. Uh, gross pay on the load, $2,405.24. Uh, percentage to the truck was $1,863.68. Uh, that load weighed $42,000. 
It was 903 miles with the uh, deadhead and the, and the running around trying to figure out what I was going to do um, on the front end of it. Uh, 903 miles. I ended up at 7 miles to the gallon. Um, and reason being, uh, I had to run that 900 miles by like... I cannot remember exactly right off the top of my head what my appointment time in Lebanon was, but um, Lebanon I delivered Friday, and from there I had to have enough time to get to my next load. So um, anyway, I had to push really hard uh, to get to Lebanon on time because they only had one available appointment time, or I was going to have to sit on it all all weekend long, and I did not want to sit on it all weekend long. Um, so I pushed really hard, got it there on time, and ended up at seven miles to the gallon because of it. Now that load paid uh, 206 a mile to the truck for all miles. Uh, so from Lebanon, I went down to Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, grabbed a load that was going to Bryan, Texas. That load paid $2,550 even. Uh, cut to the truck was $1,920 even, and it weighed 29,000 pounds. Now that load was 962 miles. Um, kind of a short hop for me for a weekend load, but um, lat when you're last minute looking at freight, you don't really have a lot of options. So um, that's what I was doing. I was looking, you know, I had two loads that I already had booked. I had my whole week pre-planned week, the week prior and when things fall apart you know you just kind of deal with what you can get I guess but um since it was a weekend load going 962 miles um had plenty of time on it uh, I set the cruise at like 61 mile an hour and just took it easy all weekend long got 8.6 miles to the gallon uh, that load paid right at two dollars a mile now the North Lake, so from Bryan, Texas, I bounced to North Lake, Texas. Um, was a little bit farther of a deadhead that I would have than what I would have liked to have had, but this load I had booked already and I didn't want to cancel it um, if I didn't have to. Um, it got me back to the house, um, you know, with, with, with something in the trailer. So... Um, originally when I booked it, uh, it had a really good rate on it, um, because the deadhead on, you know, previously was only going to be like 20 miles and I ended up with like, oh, I want to say it was like 180 miles of deadhead or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was right off the top of my head from Brian to North Lake. So the deadhead really killed the rate on this, um. But, like I said, uh, I didn't want to lose the load because I wasn't really finding anything else out, anything else that I wanted to haul either to get me home. So gross pay on it was $780, cut to the truck $547.25. It did only weigh 12,000 pounds. Uh, total mileage with the deadhead, 379 miles, 10 and a half miles to the gallon. Um, this one here also, um, I got in no hurry. I ran 61 mile an hour the whole way. I ran 61 mile an hour all the way from Bryan, Texas, all the way to North Lake. So, and then 61 all the way to Oklahoma City. So technically I ran 61 mile an hour from basically, I think it was from Lebanon, Tennessee, all the way to Oklahoma City. But, um, that ended up paying $1.44 a mile. Hold that thought. So anyway, like I said, ended up at $1.44 a mile on it. Um, it would have been a lot better, like I said, had I not had the 100 and something plus miles on the front end of it. But, so for the week, ended up at four thousand three hundred thirty dollars and ninety three cents now that's not a full week um like i said i didn't pick albertus up till thursday and then i delivered oklahoma city on monday so 
it's not a full week but i did still put down some miles 2247 miles and with all miles for the week i ended up at a dollar 93 a mile and i averaged right at eight miles to the gallon when it was all said and done so this number's not as great as i'd like to see it but considering the fact that i had to recover from two loads canceling back to back and spending an entire day in a truck stop trying to figure out what i was going to do to get me home um i'm not really mad about it so it still worked out um i can still make money at that at that rate um but it's just not where i like to be at but i'll quit rambling about that um i appreciate y'all for watching like always um you know hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button um if y'all have any questions or comments throw them in the bottom uh like always stay safe rubber side down shiny side up i'll catch y'all on the next one